A 12 year old girl in Georgia has already been through more surgeries than most adults. That's right. The young man is determined to make a comeback and get himself stronger and healthier than ever. Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin shares his story. Twice a week, 12 year old Nasani Steven comes to Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Ivy Walk Sports Medicine Clinic in Smyrna to work with physical therapist Sarah Holland. Uh, Nasani's had quite the journey. He's had several surgeries. So, anytime you have a surgery, it's just a shock for your body and your system. Um, so, your muscles get, can get really weak. This all started in the fall of 2022 when Nasani developed a limp on his left side. I was feeling like a slight numbness in, in, in my leg. He had knee pain that would come and go. When I stepped down on it and put it too much pressure on it, it, it was hurting. I asked him, I said, hey, what's wrong? He said, my leg really hurt. So I took him to this pediatrician maybe six times. Nishida Stevens says the doctor couldn't find anything wrong and Nasani reassured her he was fine, but she now wishes she had pushed harder. But if your child is limping, something's going on. I don't care what. They're saying, I'll be all right, mama. They're limping. Children don't limp for nothing. They may start walking with a bit of a hitch in their gait or a limp. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta orthopedic surgeon Dr. Robert Bruce says Nasani's symptoms sound a lot like a hip condition he sees typically in obese teenagers. And the pain is often very subtle at first. And interestingly enough, initial pain in most of these patients is in the knee. And we call this referred pain. Then in October of 2022, I had fell down at school. Nasani landed in the emergency department at Children's Health Care because his hip ball had slipped out of its socket. That's when they finally got a diagnosis. It's a condition we call slip capital femoral epiphysis. It's a mouthful. It's abbreviated SCFE. Nasani's growth plate in his hips had become weak and unstable. And we think that a combination of stress and strain on the growth plate causes this weakness and slippage of the hip. Hormones, a vitamin D deficiency, and being overweight are all thought to play into SCFE. Obesity is far more common in young people now than it was, say, 30 years ago. And this is one condition that is fairly directly related to obesity. Nasani needed surgery to stabilize both of his hips and then another major operation with Dr. Bruce to reconstruct and realign his left hip. And as he healed, he and his mom began to tackle the lack of structure in his diet. He has tried to, tried to put me on diets before. But um, at some point, I just ask her, and, and, and she's giving me what I want. But these days, Nasani Stephen is Sarah Holland's most committed patient, trying not just to heal, but to get healthier. Well, I want to get him as strong as he's able to get, and then teach him the exercises and the habits so he can continue his journey on his own. And at five feet five, down to 150 pounds, he's getting there. For your Fox Medical team, I'm Beth Galvin.